my being able to do many things in the organization and it has become great strength for me because uh, uh, I became an all-rounder rather than just specializing on one area. But having said that, uh, you need to uh, strengthen yourself with uh, additional knowledge. So I started on uh, MBA, I completed my MBA thereafter, so it helped a lot to uh, learn a lot of uh, modern knowledge on management, marketing, etc. So um, I think uh, no one should just uh, limit themselves to just uh, one discipline because uh, you are not trying to do a PhD and become a scientist. Uh, what you are trying to do is manage a business uh, that has potential and in that uh, there are a lot of disciplines that you need. Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to go the course. Uh, you have, must have a broader perspective of the business when you are growing up in the organization. And it is a standard saying in Colombo Dockyard that every engineer who joins Dockyard has to lean his uh, hand towards the spanner and the screwdriver and the pliers one day and then move on to a, perhaps a, a pen and a computer and a calculator and do various other managerial things. So uh, that, that's the path I took and not only me, and quite a number of people in Dockyard has done it and then uh, it has been a successful story. Now, you appointed the general manager of Colombo Dockyard PLC in uh, 2001. After that, was it smooth sailing for you because you had this amount of experience? No, it is not. But uh, it was a strength behind me. And I, as I believe uh, the Japanese management at that time thought this is a, this is a good uh, beginning. I, I think they took a quite a big challenging decision to appoint. Because when I was appointed in 2000, there were at least a number of other managers who were senior to me. Mm -hmm. uh, who were at least 10, 12 years senior to me in the company. When I joined as a trainee engineer, they were my uh, mentors. Uh, now, getting a junior guy to head the team was, uh, you know, it even was a challenging decision. But um, I presume that uh, they had this belief that since I have a, had an all-round uh, knowledge, it would help me to strengthen my position and take the company into a different uh, uh, kind of a position. Mm -hmm. So, but apart from that, I got a lot of support from everyone because, uh, you know, in organization you tend to, either you are a production man or you are a business person or you are a quality assurance, or you, you don't uh, try to share everyone's uh, needs. It, it's good when you have overall knowledge. Mm -hmm. Of course, it can also mm -hmm. be, a, be a problem because... Mm -hmm. um, uh, like I said, you can be a jack of all trades and master of none, mm -hmm. and uh, that, that becomes a problem. But mm -hmm. as long as you can uh, selectively use your knowledge uh, for the benefit of the organization, make right decisions, then I think it helps you. Do you have a guiding principle that you work by? Yes. Uh, I try to be honest to my own conscience all the time. And mm -hmm. uh, my, if, if you took, ask me today what is my principle, it is do the right thing mm -hmm. and do it right. Uh, as long as at every moment if I can say, okay, if it's the, this is the right thing to do, and then I'll do it, mm -hmm. irrespective of uh, what others think. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, uh, you need to do a lot of selling, a lot of communication, face challenges. And, uh, and, and if what you are doing is right, mm -hmm. but your implementation strategy or the way you are doing it is wrong, those things can be corrected. Mm -hmm. I always tell the people that something is right, do it. And if what you're doing may not be in the right way, you can correct it. That, that's, not a, that's, that's where you need to improve. Mm -hmm. So over one or two of uh, these things, uh, I mean uh, trial and error, trial and error uh, experiment, uh, this thing working, you, you'll be able to correct the situation and get into the right uh, way of doing things. Mr. Alpha, it's time for a short break. We'll continue our discussion after that. Stay with us, we'll be right back. 